That's the law of karma. Anytime that you do something positive or good, you get good back. Like if you just want to think you're going to show up at the pool and not do any work and just drop in and skate and not do any work, basically you haven't paid your dues, number one. Two, you're creating kind of a bad karma, a little bit of a wall of like a, like a half measure kind of thing. The thing that I saw was that if you actually want to come and skate the pool, then you help us clean the pool. That way when you help clean the pool, it kind of gives you that that little blanket of good karma around you, you know? People are zen. Yeah, it's it's a part of the deal. I mean, like, you don't just show up and just go, hey, I'm here to skate after we did all the cleaning. That was like, you know, kind of like, no, dude, you take it easy over there for a little while, you know? And our crew was a lot of tough guys. There was some animosity towards each other occasionally, but, you know, we reinforced our authority with with our fists, you know, and there were, there was like a lot of times people would show up and if they weren't welcome and they didn't leave, they got beat up. We would, we would beat them up right there and then throw them out and tell them not to come back. So, you know, it was very aggressive in the sixties and seventies. We didn't carry knives and guns and stuff. We were just full on like, you know, fighters. And so if something happened, that's the way it went down. When we got turned into playing punk rock music and stuff, same thing. That's how suicidal tendencies started and everything was, we were like a gang. And the guys like were a gang in the sense of like, if you win against the grain, you got the shit beat out of you. So that's just the way it is. That's the law back then. 